Welcome to Littleton, Colorado. So this morning I was able to sneak in a lawn run. It's Friday morning and it went pretty well. It's about 5,000 feet of elevation here, but the temperature is amazing. It is in the 60s, no humidity to speak of. Colorado is great, like pretty much year round I think Colorado is great. The workout was four miles easy, three miles at tempo, seven miles easy, three miles at tempo, and then four miles back. So I ended up averaging uh, 650, seven minutes per mile on the easy sections. It was pretty tough actually to start out with. Like the first four miles were very, very hard. And I was worried about being able to do the workout at all, but it turns out I was actually gaining elevation and I didn't realize it. So once I started going downhill, uh, I turned on the tempo pace. I hit 540 uh, for both the first and the second tempo. So it's kind of like just consistent uh, effort and pace, which is something that I haven't been able to do in Texas uh, all summer long. I'm here through Saturday night. So I'm gonna actually strap on the GoPro tomorrow and get some footage running on the trails. There's some awesome views and then I'll do something on Sunday back in Dallas. So should be another good training week. This is the first week of Dallas training, kind of coming to an end. Hey guys, how's it going? It is Sunday, August 20th, the end of week two of my Dallas training. We have 16 weeks to go and just wanted to go over the last couple weeks. So I was out of town last weekend, the end of week one. I was in Colorado for my friend's wedding and I ended up getting in a really good long run there. I had a long tempo run. So the first week ended up being Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday with doubles. I had my first workout on Tuesday. It was three miles, two miles, one mile tempo. And that ended up going really well. I think I averaged a little bit better than 540 pace for the three segments. And then I had my long run on Friday. The wedding was Friday night, so I wanted to get it in so I wouldn't have to run it with a hangover on Saturday. And that was 21 miles with two by three miles at uh, tempo marathon pace, somewhere in there. So I ended up doing those tempo segments at 540 and I got the whole run done and you know, just under 640 pace. So no problem there, even with altitude. First week ended up being 102 miles. And then I kind of fell behind on sleep. So I got off to a late start on week number two. I only got like 10 miles on Monday. Normally I try and get ahead on Monday. On Tuesday, I didn't run in the morning and I ran my first interval session at night. I ended up running on the roads because the local track is closed. So that was five by 1,000 and four by 400. Did the 1,000s at about 306, 307 and the 400s around 68, 70. And for a really hot day, I was you know, really happy with that workout. I actually thought I would be running quite a bit slower. I gave myself some allowance. I, I didn't, you know, I don't have aggressive goals for the summer. My goals are more for, you know, the October, November timeframe when it cools off a little bit. 
So yeah, first interval session done on Tuesday, and then on Saturday I got in an easy 23 miler. Easy being pace, uh, didn't run it fast, but I wouldn't call it easy. It was a pretty tough day out there. And I ended up doubling that day. So all in all, week two, I doubled five times. And it's Sunday night. I'm just gonna get some hill work in right now, but I'm at 101 miles for the week so far. So I'll end up around 104, 105. So I am going to get in um, just a short run tonight. And I wanted to get some hill sprints in. So I like to do hill sprints the day after my long run, something I picked up from Brad Hudson's book. And the goal is that this basically replaces your strength training. You don't have to spend a whole lot of time in the weight room, you can just run up hills. It's much more running specific, so it's gonna help with your economy and mechanics and all the muscles that actually propel you forward when you're running. I'll get up to where I'm doing eight or 10 of them. Um, 10 second reps, 8 to 10 second reps, and these are pretty much all out effort. But tonight, since it's my first hill session back for quite a while, I'm just going to try and do four. And the way I approach these, I don't know who gave me this advice, but I really liked it, is you go back and forth every other rep. So one rep, you concentrate on generating power, and then the other rep, you concentrate on turnover. So you go back and forth between those two, and you'll notice quite a bit of difference between the two reps, but you know, when you bring it all together, you end up, you know, it, it does feel like you just did some squats at the end of the workout. That's a wrap on that. Apologize for my abysmal sprinting form. I am not a sprinter.